Hey guys, Slash Burger, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be going through my entire VHS collection. Enjoy. You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. <laughs> been collecting VHS tapes for that long I think not even for a year and also like I go through phases where the one time I'll buy a lot of books then a lot of vinyl and VHS tapes you know it goes around like that and I honestly haven't been buying that many VHS tapes recently this is like three months work I think so having that in mind my collection is fucking huge first up we got an American werewolf in London oh. So yeah, it's a horror classic, you know, you gotta own one if you chest date. Still gotta watch An American Werewolf in Paris, because that, that, I don't know, I, I've been in Paris for, I've been in Paris like three times now, and it's really awesome there. You French people are lucky as hell. Je voulais visiter Paris. Um, I don't know how to finish that sentence. <laughs> My French, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't had French guys in like a year, so don't, don't mind, don't judge. Creep show, which honestly I, it's not like some people call it like the greatest anthology, but it's not even close to being the greatest to me. Freddy vs. Jason, just a great film. I mean, come on, how can you not love this? The soundtrack for this is great. It, it's like a metal soundtrack, of course, if you know me. I fucking love metal. I mean, look at what shirt I'm wearing. You know? Fucking Slayer! Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lee, speaking of great soundtracks. This is probably what got me into metal, because this got me into Alice Cooper, and Alice Cooper got me into metal, so... Um, everything, you can thank everything to Jason Lives. And also, classic, you know. I freaking love this film. I can pop this in any time and just enjoy it. You know, not have to not be bothered by people and stuff like that. Friday the 13th part 6 or <laughs> part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, which is also great Friday the 13th. Like, always hurts to put it so low on the list. Uh, but you know, the others are just a little more enjoyable, but this one is more than, more than fun. Friday Night, great vampire flick, probably my favorite. I actually reviewed this one, so if you want to check that out, go ahead. There's a link over there or there. I never know. Graduation Day, which I also did a review on, and <laughs> again, there will be a link somewhere there. The Hitcher. One of my favorite movies of all time. Actually, it's in my top 25 movies of all time, <laughs> which is also a video I did. And I got, oh shit. Again, you can click over there or there to check it out. This one I got from Kimberly. If you want to see the unboxing to this, you can click over there or there. Oh my God, I'm saying it too many times. I'm, I'm annoying as hell. You're a maniac. So thank you, Kimberly, for that. Soon I'll be reviewing. This movie, the Silence of the Lambs, which I got from David, David Bergantino. I haven't checked this film out yet, ever. I haven't seen it. I really got it, I know. And here we have a really weird, but <laughs> kind of cool copy of Tales from the Crypt. That, I don't know, man. It, it's not even a cartoon, but like the cover makes it look like a cartoon. And also, it kind of looks makes it look like an 80s uh, vintage horror paperback. But yeah, this is what the actual movie looks like. Great anthology. Uh, in my opinion, better than Creepshow, actually. So, uh, yeah. Here we have some of the best episodes of uh, Tales from the Crypt. This is the Robert Zemeckis collection. So, this one has An All Through the House. Great episode, really iconic. Like, if you haven't seen Tales from the Crypt, you at least know that episode. If you're a horror fan. Not a poser, if you're a true horror fan. And Yellow, as well. And You. So, with, is that John Lithgow? Yeah. I've only seen season one, and I don't think that's on season one. Still really gotta watch the other seasons. It's been almost a year since I've seen season one, so. 
Here we have one of the greatest films of all time, a awesome flick. This is the final PHS tape 2, by the way. Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight. Really cool. I kind of, I remember when I lost to watch these two movies back to back, like Demon Knight and um, Bordello of Blood. I actually preferred Bordello of Blood, so. Um, but yeah, this one is cool as well. Really cool flick. Pretty extensive collection when you consider the the short time period uh, that I acquired these. But some some great flicks. Some of my favorite films are here. You know, most of the time I, even though I have some some of these, I have on Blu-ray too. Usually I watch the VHS tape because I love VHS. VHS is awesome. It's like a especially with like the older flicks like Maniac or The Hitcher. That's just like a movie has to be experienced uh, on VHS because that's the way the director envisioned it. He envisioned it, people seeing it on the big screen first and then, you know, seeing it at home on VHS. So it just brings a whole new mood, you know, it's just like with uh, vinyl, it brings a whole new mood and just, I'm just old school, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I really got to say for now. I'll do an update uh, if I buy new VHS tapes anytime soon or get new ones. Uh, anytime soon. Really, that's all I gotta say for now. See you guys later. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's not